Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is my third tutorial on MATLAB how to series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a plot in MATLAB. So let's head over to MATLAB and here I have a template defined as usual and I'll make this code available uh, on my website. I'll put a link in the description below. So what we'll try and do is animate the line uh, y equals x squared. Okay, so we'll start by defining the x range. So we'll say x is a row vector starting from 0 in steps of 1 all the way up to 10. Okay, now we'll define the equation y equals x squared. And don't forget to add the dot before the power. So MATLAB knows it's a element by element operation. So what that means is for each x value, so 0, you calculate a y value, but then, then you add 1 onto it, and then you calculate the y value for x equals 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10. So it's an element by element. So it takes each element from this row vector. Okay. So just for demonstration, let's just plot this and see what it looks like. So x, comma y plot, and click on run, and you can see this is what it looks like. So when you just use the plot function, it just pops up like this. But we want to animate it so you can see the way the graph grows. Okay. So we will just comment that out and we'll try and animate this line. So the next thing that we need to do is define a function called animated line. So this is a function that we need to use in our for loop to animate the line. So we'll start by defining a for loop and we'll say i equals 1 to length x. So what this length x is doing is just calculating the length of x and you can see it's got 11 elements starting from 1. You can see it's got 11 elements here. So it's saying we will iterate 11 times so in this next line we'll say add points and we will pass in h which is the animated line function so this particular function which is adding points onto the plot uh, needs uh, this as an input to tell itself that it's an animated line so we'll say x comma y but now because we are inside a for loop, what we need to tell MATLAB is each time I want to index into the ith element. So the ith element in the first iteration is going to be 1. So when i equals 1, you have x equals 0 and y equals 0. So it adds a point at x equals 0 and y equals 0. Then it ends and then comes back up again and then goes to the next uh, iteration, which is 2. So i is 2 now. And then it looks at the second element and so on, all the way up to the 11th element. And after each iteration, it adds a point. And to show this, to actually see the animation, you need to also add in a function called draw now. So this is complete now, so let's have a look how it looks. You can see how that was animated. Now let's um, add a few more points by reducing the increment. So if you just say it's going up in steps of 0 0.1 and then click run again, you can see there's more points so it's taking more time to actually get to the final point. Okay, so that's how you animate a line. There's one more thing I'd like to show you, which is the pause function. So if you want to make your animation a little more slower, then you can define a time uh, that you want uh, MATLAB to pause before showing the next point. So I want to pause 0 0.5 seconds, and then I'll just switch this back to 1. Otherwise, it's going to take some time. So if we click Run now, you can see it's taking 0.5 seconds and then plotting the next point.
So I hope you guys have learned something new there. Um, I'll make this code available on my website. The link will be in the description below as well. Uh, if you're new to my channel, then make sure to check out my other tutorials on MATLAB App Designer and MATLAB Fundamentals. If you have any questions, then please feel free to comment them below. And if you like the video, then please share and subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.